Arguably, the most difficult part of Jesus' ministry was in Gethsemane, both spiritually and emotionally. After the Last Supper, Jesus said, pray that you do not fall into temptation. Jesus was not telling them to pray, Lord, don't let me get into temptation. He was saying, pray so that you don't get into temptation. Looking back to Jesus' own temptation in Matthew 4, Jesus spent time praying and fasting, getting himself ready for the ministry. As Satan tempted him, Jesus was spending time praying. Look at Psalm 119, 9-11. It indicates that to not sin, we need to spend time in God's word. Not only did Jesus spend time fasting and praying, he also countered Satan with God's word as it was living in his heart. After Jesus was baptized, he was led by the spirit into the wilderness where he spent time with his father. What a powerful combination. As his baptism happened and the Holy Spirit descended on him and words from his father saying that he was well pleased, he was led into a deep, prayerful time away from people, concentrating on praying, concentrating on fasting, and concentrating on the Word. This is very similar to where Jesus was emotionally in Gethsemane. He was missing something from the Matthew 4 temptation in the wilderness. He was missing the church. This time in Gethsemane, he was with the church, his disciples. Remember, the garden was a wilderness for his spirit. He was hurting. He was getting prepared because God was going to die. Not only would God be in heaven looking down as his father, but Jesus, who is also God, would be dead. The impossible was about to happen. Although the disciples fell asleep and being very silly, Jesus still said the most amazing thing that we need to emulate. Not my will, but yours be done. Are we at that point in our ministry to Jesus? Do we have the church surrounding us, supporting us? And are we people who say, Lord, let your will be done. Are we relying on prayer and the Spirit's guidance as Jesus was tempted and as he was in Gethsemane? Are we willing to be people who say, Lord, let your will be done? Savior.